Hello and welcome to Rocky Balboa on your first exclusive tour. We're walking on inside and we did spend quite a bit of time looking for this actual trailer pretty much the past year. So here we have our queen size bed in our room with double storage on each side and some ambient lighting that pops up there as well as our little entertainment system. Now in case you have to poop in an emergency, the bathroom is directly across from the door so you don't have to go far in case you need it. We do have a porcelain toilet and a giant sink for a shower so that is an awesome plus. Moving on to the kitchen here, which there's actually plenty of space between here and here for two people to walk by. Now we do have a double-sided sink, as well as a three stove top burner and an oven. Fancy, fancy. Also a microwave, plenty of overtop storage here. Right across from that microwave is our dual purpose fridge. It runs off of propane and or electricity. And then our dining room, living room area. So here we have our living room, dining room converted into beds. And as you can see, Amanda is five feet tall here. She's got just a little bit of extra room. And the other one is still actually just about her size there. So you gotta make a short person sleep on the couch. <laughs> oh yeah, that is a five foot spot right there. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Hunter is 5'11", and he fits perfectly on it. I have about an inch below my heels, so you could definitely do a six foot person here as long as you don't wanna stretch out the feet. <laughs> So just to convert them back, it's actually super easy. Um, this one is exactly like a futon. So you just go, boop, now it's a couch again. You have to do just a little bit extra. So we're gonna pull up the cushions, push them back. And then this is actually our dining table right here. Bam. Now I did put the poles in here. Uh, these are actually double-sided, so you can put them in either way. Slide them into our ground holes. Make sure the round part is towards you. And then, bam, you now have your dining table back. Chica -chica. Plus our other TV up in the corner. Stream entertainment here. And then also we have an indoor-outdoor speaker system. That's pretty nice, so we can run the jams all the way around. We also have this nifty little device that'll tell us our battery power, our fresh water, black water, and gray water. Obviously those are empty, it's winter time, and we've already had it winterized. Here's interior lights, here's the awning lights, which you can't see out there, and then here is how you put the awning in and out. Now over here are the lights for the room and the ambient lighting. Bam, there you go. And then the solar panel part is right here, so you can read from that as well. And I'm going to give you an estimate of your battery, so we're 75% or so. And for safety, we do have our gas or CO2 alarm here, because nobody wants to die in their brand new trailer. That'd just be horrible. You never even get to use it. Last of the interior controls is our heater and cooler system here. Now it is actually highly efficient because we turned it on for about 15 minutes and it got to the temperature we wanted and had to turn it off, so it's a great system here. So the AC does have vents run through the ceiling here as well as ones coming out of the actual AC. Now the heater has vents coming out of the ground, which are actually extremely efficient, and they are spread throughout the trailer here in different spots just to make sure you get the maximum heating. Where's that other guy at? There he is. So we were able to pick up this trailer from Camping World, and man, they treated us right. We have the sweet trailer hitch setup that actually makes it a lot easier to drive and reduce its sway, as well as the trailer brakes on this trailer are so strong, I could probably stop the truck with it but that gave me an excuse to go ahead and start upgrading the rest of the truck. So brakes and discs all the way around, as well as 30% stronger springs and shocks in the back, which will help keep the trailer even to make it even more balanced. And hell, let's go ahead and throw some rock lights on there as well. Now, Phil was our specialist down at Camping World, and my God, he took care of us. He even looked up the specific specs and model of my truck to ensure that the weight we were carrying would be safe, as well as walked us through dual versus single axle, which trailer would be best for boondocking, and all the other weight specs that we needed to be concerned about. And LT was the one who actually got us hooked up on the back end, showing us how to use that hitch and drive safely, even watched us go around the lot one time, as well as walking us through everything the trailer had and how to use that step by step. So thank you guys so much, and a big thank you to everyone at Camping World. Everyone was so nice, you made us feel like family.
So a quick little run through the trailer here. And we got two 10 gallon propane tanks, as well as two marine batteries here for maximum power storage. Uh, going along the side for physical storage things, we do have this all the way under and through storage. This is actually the bottom of the bed under here. And this is a hell of a lot of room. I mean, this is probably three by two at least. So you can fit plenty of things in there. Now here's the awning that pops out, and obviously the front door. And then in case you want to mount that TV outside, bam, they got you set up right away. Clearly this is under the awning so you don't get wet when you want to party. And then there's those two outdoor speakers I was talking about as well. Now they do have a cable plug-in as well as a power plug-in here for anything you need to run outside. And if you look under the trailer over here and you want to put that grill outside, there's a quick connect gas line as well. Bam. Now these supports are not made for leveling, they are just made to support the trailer. You run them down after you get the trailer level. Which, to help that out, we have these fancy little levels that I installed in the back of our poop tube and made sure to shave down the inside of those screws so it didn't scrape our poop tube. Now we do have the back of the water heater here, I think. So in case you need anything, you can just get quick access. Here's the drain as well. And then here's the access to the back of the fridge. Any of your water supplies here. 30 amp storage and then your exterior shower in case you get muddy and you don't want to track that into your sweet new trailer you wash off out here bam good deal so thanks again for stopping by on the short tour of rocky balbaja don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you on the next one